Nicholas, and I'm a naturopathic physician. I work downtown Vancouver at Evoke Integrative Medicine. My practice is focused in women's health, fertility, and gynecology. Today, I just wanted to share a little bit of information about infertility. I get asked pretty often if fertility and infertility is becoming more of an issue these days. And the truth of the matter is that it is. More and more people are struggling each year with infertility. Yes, people are talking about it more now, and so it's become a little bit more common to be hearing about it, but we're also actually seeing a decline in fertility from a female and a male perspective. In Canada, one in six couples struggle with infertility. And some of the reasons behind why we think this is the case is that women are delaying the age at which they start trying to conceive until later in their life. This could be because of uh, career advancement or financial purposes. It's also often reported that women aren't finding their partners that they want to start a family with until later in life. So these are some of the reasons why we think the rates of infertility are increasing. In Canada, like I said, one in six couples struggle with infertility, but this is different in different age categories. So only one in eight couples struggle with infertility if the female partner is under 30 years of age, whereas it is as high as one in two couples struggling with infertility. So 50% of couples struggling with infertility if the female partner is over 40 years of age. So that makes a really big difference. So age, again, seems to be the key factor in terms of what is causing infertility. What I would say is that one encouraging thing about the statistics is that more and more people are sharing their stories of infertility on social media. And this has helped to kind of decrease the stigma associated with infertility and hopefully get people access to the care and the providers that they need in order to be uh, assessed for what's going on and then hopefully treated and be able to have that family that they've always wanted. So you might ask yourself, where does a couple start when they feel like they're struggling with fertility or if they want to be proactive about their fertility and want to plan for preconception care or prenatal care before they're even pregnant? So the first answer to that would be, it would be great for you to be preventative and proactive and come and seek out care before there even is an issue. If we put good lifestyle factors in place in advance, it really decreases the rate of infertility and it improves the speed at which you can have that family that you're looking for. However, if you are struggling with infertility, it's important to be assessed. So book a visit with me or your primary care provider in order to have a proper assessment and think about the different options that you have based on your age, the amount of months that you've been trying to conceive, and then other factors like um, other comorbidities or other health concerns that you might have. It's important to note that Infertility is not just a female thing. There are cases of fertility that are female factor infertility or male factor infertility. And the most common, I would say, is um, both or both partners are causing a component of it. So we call that mixed factor infertility. And that tends to be the most common thing that I see. One of the reasons why I offer couples infertility assessments in my office is that sometimes it's easier to come in with your partner or for women, it might be easier for them to get their husbands or their partners into an office if they're going with them. And this allows us to assess both partners early on and kind of um, streamline our treatment approach so that we're supporting both partners if that's required. And it really fast tracks treatment for people with infertility, which is really what we need because time is of the essence. In terms of natural medicine working for infertility, it's an absolutely great tool. Like I said, if we can be preventative and proactive and use preconceptive care and prenatal care, that's always the best. But if you're struggling with infertility, there's lots of different things that we can do to modify risk factors, change lifestyle habits that are barriers into fer fertility and infertility. And then we can also work on targeted nutraceuticals and targeted treatments to deal with the specific issues that you might have 
going on in your particular case. I often use, uh, so for people coming into my office for the first time for an infertility assessment, I do a detailed history where I get all the information about how long somebody's been trying and have both partners been assessed before or not. And then we do a physical exam as well as send people off with a, a requisite for some lab work, some basic lab work to just assess um, your baseline health and specific uh, tests to assess fertility factors. The other place that natural fertility medicine seems to fit in really well is when people have already got a diagnosis of unexplained infertility or idiopathic infertility. And this is a really challenging diagnosis because the last thing you want to hear is, we don't know why you're struggling to conceive. People are really encouraged when they have an answer from a blood test or an answer from an ultrasound saying, hey, this is the thing that's not working right and we can fix that or we can change a few things in your physiology or in your anatomy by doing a procedure, a surgery, taking a medication, taking a supplement to adjust those things. But when you get a diagnosis of we don't know why, that can be really, really hard to take. So I see a lot of people with uh, fertility issues that are unexplained in my office. Naturopathic medicine has a unique ability to look at things beyond the basic lab work, and I use advanced laboratory testing and diagnostics in order to determine if there's a few things that weren't originally tested that are barriers to your fertility. And this can be done both for female factor or male factor or mixed. So those are important things to do. A holistic approach to fertility seems to work really well, where we layer in a fertility diet as well as targeted nutraceuticals and herbs, and also using IV or intravenous nutrient therapy, as well as acupuncture to kind of give you a whole host of things that support your fertility and help you conceive. There are a few lifestyle factors that you can just be thinking about so that you are um, improving your chances of success at conceiving back at home. So optimal hormone levels are really important. And when your hormones are working properly, you're going to be cycling on a regular basis. So you'll get your menstrual period or you'll get your menses about every 30 days. If your cycles are too short or your cycles are too long, Sometimes that means there's a hormonal imbalance and that can make it a lot harder to conceive. The other thing you want to know is that you're ovulating every month. We call these ovulatory cycles. People think that just because they get a period every month's month means that they ovulated that month, but that's not always the case. So having proper hormone levels and good cycles gives you the best chance because you get more months a year that you're able to ovulate and have a chance of conceiving. So that's really important. Good nutrition and underlying um, nutrient-dense whole foods is a really important lifestyle factor, as well as adequate hydration, regular exercise, good sleep, low stress. Body weight seems to be another one that has a large impact. So even if you, if you are overweight or if you are underweight, both seem to decrease your chances of conceiving. And so it's important to have healthy body mass. Balanced blood sugars or um, the absence of diabetes or any blood sugar imbalances seems to improve rates of fertility and a low toxic burden. So things in your environment that might um, increase your toxicity. So low alcohol consumption, low caffeine consumption, no smoking, vaping, and no cannabis that declines the rates of fertility. And finally, regular timed intercourse is really important in being able to conceive naturally. Anyways, I'm Dr. Laura Nicholas, and it was really nice chatting with you about infertility. It's definitely my passion above everything, and I'd love to work with you if that's something that you're thinking about in the future and you want to do preconception care, or if it's something that you're struggling with right now and you need a little bit of extra support. Thanks so much. Bye.